Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. In this video, I'd like to answer a question that I found really, really interesting. This comes from my other channel, which is, well, in Romanian, because I'm Romanian, but basically it's a question in English because I have a couple of videos in English on how to use inhalers there. So the question is very simple. Uh, it's related to an inhaler called Foster, basically. And the question is, hello, doctor, is, is it addictive? Is the inhaler addictive? And I think that's a fantastic question because I do get that a lot, actually. Um, it's a question that many patients have. So if you've been prescribed an inhaler for asthma, for COPD, for you know some other conditions, many people are worried that the inhaler itself is addictive, whereas the inhaler is a treatment. So this distinction, I think, is very hard to make sometimes for many people. And people are worried that once they go on a treatment, that treatment will cause an addiction and the addiction may be worse than the disease. And I think that's not the right approach because in the instance of asthma, let's talk about asthma because I think asthma is quite a good condition to discuss this. And many people who are actually younger will feel that going on an inhaler for life potentially is something that is very hard to accept. In the case of asthma, asthma is a condition that's driven by inflammation in the airways. You have inflammation, which is potentially triggered by allergies, by all kinds of things. Maybe you're inhaling something from the environment that's triggering inflammation in the airways. There may be a genetic predisposition, but regardless of the trigger for asthma, the driver of the disease is inflammation in the airways. So if you've got inflammation in the airways, Unless you treat the inflammation, the asthma will lead to asthma attacks. That inflammation will trigger asthma attacks. It will trigger the little muscles that control how open or closed your airways are to spasm. That inflammation on the inside of the airway will lead to those spasms and asthma attacks. So treating the inflammation actually keeps you from having asthma attacks. So going on a controller inhaler or a medication that reduces the inflammation in the airways, that is usually just inhaled medication through an inhaler, will actually make your asthma tons better. You can lead a normal life by going on the inhaler and taking it regularly or as directed. Now, in the case of asthma, the condition may vary. So you may have good days, you may have bad days. You may have a few good months in which you're absolutely fine, and then you may rarely need your inhaler and you're thinking that everything's fine, the asthma has gone, but then it tends to come back, potentially when you're exposed to some pollen you're allergic to or something else. So keeping the medication on through this inhaler device actually controls the asthma. And I wouldn't class that as addiction. I would just class that as effective treatment. I know this is a little bit controversial for many people and it's hard to sort of get your mind around the fact that you may need to use potentially an inhaler such as this one or another one for life. But the good thing is that in most respiratory conditions, you will have periods in which you'll need more medications, periods in which you'll need less medication. So that just varies based on your response. But I wouldn't say these are addictive. You're basically just giving your body what it needs in order to control those symptoms that can be very debilitating. So I'm hoping this reassures you in some way, but it's a question that I do get a lot and I do worry sometimes that many people do not understand the implications of having a respiratory disease with significant symptoms that can impair their ability to work, to exercise, to have a social life, to you know have a normal life. So I would say in those cases, if you need a treatment in order to control a chronic disease, so it's a condition that doesn't really go away with time, I think it's best to be on the medication rather than without it and going in and out of hospital all the time. So if this can keep you out of hospital, perhaps that's a good thing. And I wouldn't class that as an addiction, but a good treatment. So I hope this is helpful for you. And if you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer in a future video. All the best to you and good health.